Hello everyone, welcome to my crib. So this is my first apartment that I lived in by myself um, in Atlanta. I no longer live here. No, I'm not going to stay where I live because I just don't, even though I don't live there no more, it still gets like creepy. No, I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> but um, I did want to just show you all an overall look of what my apartment looked like before I moved out. Um, I had a 12 month lease here and I always feel like when you furnishing an apartment and you're only there for a year it's kind of like you're spending the whole year furnishing it and you don't even get to like really enjoy it so um i'm just showing you all everything that i have in the corner like i started packing up this is my louis wall i have a video on that if you guys want to go see it go check it out uh, i'm not really going to link down where i got everything in this video because i want to do um a tour of my new home with everything set up so that i can link everything for you guys and also i have to find the links so that everything be accurate um, but I got most of my stuff from like Walmart, um, Amazon. This sofa I actually got from someone who was selling the sofa because during the panoramic, the sofas were taking like eight and nine months to come. And I'm like, no, I just need something at least for now until I can get the sofa that I wanted because I'm not waiting nine months and not having a sofa in my dang apartment. Um, but yeah, so that I got off of like offer up for like 200 bucks. It was a really comfy sofa, though. I would say that. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you guys an overview of everything. Um, I had a one bedroom apartment, I believe it was 891 square feet. Um, so I had a really large living room, a really large, um, bedroom and a really large closet area. So yeah, I got my book, uh, my, I don't know what the thing is called, but your shoe holder, whatever. I got that from Walmart. Um, the TV I got from Walmart, the organizers I got from Walmart, the, um, shelves I got from Ikea. You guys got to know that those are like everywhere. But, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So this is just a close up of everything that I have on these lac shelves. They're so cute. Um, I got these little plants from Ikea, you know, some books. Uh, there goes my yearbooks right there. If you haven't seen that video on me going through my yearbooks, I will link it down below. But um, I just have some decorative stuff on it. I also have these puck lights up here where you click it and it turns on, but the batteries are dead right now. But um, I have the puck lights a lot of places in my house, actually. It makes everything look really nice. I put it on like every other shelf so that like you know it highlights certain shelves and yeah this is just pretty much what i had going on throwing out these organizers um not the ikea ones the actual organizers underneath the um tv but um yeah i'm just listening to some gospel you see that <laughs> i did have stuff inside of there i just packed it up in that box if you see it to the left um but i'm just unscrewing it and i thought i was gonna take it with me um so i thought it'd be easier for me to unscrew it and then you know put it back together but i ended up just throwing it out and i'm like uh whatever i just buy another one they were like 30 dollars, so yeah and i had this for two years now um, and because it is white, you know, it did get a little stained, but you know, it's nothing you can just, um, paint over it. You can paint any color that you want to, but I just decided to just buy another one. So yeah, this is me just unscrewing it, um, before I knew I was going to throw it out. But yeah, enjoy this guys. Now my nails is messed up. 
um favorite part of my house my closet but time to go i'm only doing things that's gonna make me <laughs> if you have not seen my closet tour what are you doing i'm gonna link it down below so you guys can see how i decorated my closet i have led lights i have this grass wall aesthetic um i have my wig rainbow up here as well my collection so i'm gonna link it down below so you guys can see but getting to it how couldn't you have seen my closet tour <laughs> and me and my friends we make a joke about it and we call it the hookah closet the dykeman closet because the closet was so big that you could literally go in there sit down smoke hookah and like just go up styrofoam wig heads i got them from amazon i advise you to get it off amazon because i believe i got like 12 of them for probably like 25 30 dollars and now when you go in the store and try to get these wig heads they'd be like freaking almost five dollars a piece so probably be better off getting it from amazon and i got these picture frames from marshall's like a long periodically time ago um when i was in college actually so um if you guys have seen my video i put this um apartment friendly grass up in my closet just using thumbtacks so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just taking the thumbtacks off and you can see the grass is easily coming off and i'm just putting the thumbtacks in that little purse that i have right there just to hold them um probably gonna throw them out probably put them in a zip bag, zip block bag and use them again but yeah this is how i'm just taking it down just pulling the thumbtacks off um out of the grass wall and then it's just coming off Now it's time to sort through some clothes and all of these shoes to throw out what I'm not using and to donate what I'm not using. I'm giving this desk away to my friend um, because I also can't bring this with me. It's too big. And um, I kind of want another desk where I can have the shelving underneath it um, so that it saves me more space. Instead of me having to put like all my makeup on the top of the desk, I can put them in the shelves. So I'm getting a smaller desk with shelves. Um, this I did not record. I should have recorded because people always ask me. But this this is like a peel and stick wallpaper kind of thing that I put on my um, dresser. If I can find the link for it, I will link it down below for you guys. But all I did was just peel it off and put it on to my desk. My desk is white. So I'm just peeling it up because um, he's going to take it and he's just going to paint it whatever color he wants to. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Just easily peeling this thing up. And I like this wallpaper also because you can um, clean it. Like, obviously, mine is not clean right now because I had a whole bunch of makeup on top of it. But um, all you got to do is, like, take some cleaning solution and just, like, spray it and wipe it down. And it comes right off. It's a beautiful. It looks marble. Um, I took it off the drawers, too. Like, I had it all over the desk, and it was so pretty. So, now, this is what my... <laughs> <laughs> this is what my house is looking like right now like it looks crazy but um one thing that i do kind of regret is i forgot to show you guys my room so i can't believe i did not record my room but this is just a clip of kind of like what my room looked like is my bedroom set um my sofa that i had in the corner all this stuff my setup um it was looking crazy because it was after a try on hole look at my face i was so excited to clean it up 
But yeah, this is pretty much what my room was looking like. My room will pretty much look the same in my next apartment. So I'm going to make sure to show you So guys. I had like a bench in there. If you see it all the way in the back toward the balcony, that is a bench. I had that in my room, my desk. Like my room was decorated really, really nicely. But um, like I said, I kept majority of my stuff. So I'll just show you guys my room set up in my next apartment. I got my bed frame from Walmart. That's one thing that I did give away was my bed frame. Um, but if I can find a picture or a link, I will link it down below for you guys. But it was really nice. It was like a velvet material. I'm going to start taking down this um, Louis wall. I also have a video on this. I'm going to link it down below. And you see how easy that came off? Because a lot of people was like thinking that I painted it on. And no, it's a peel and stick. Um, it's easy to come off. It didn't leave any markings on the um, wall whatsoever. You just literally peel it right off like a sticker so i'm gonna do the rest and yeah just stay tuned okay guys so now it's probably been like four or five days later and my room is completely cleaned out um so i ended up selling my bed and my tv my tv was mounted to the wall i ended up selling all of that to a friend um i i'm just gonna see if i can find a video in my room i don't really know if i can if i ever made one guys but i'm so sorry um but i'm just showing you guys like this is one thing that i hate about this apartment like the paint on the doors always freaking peeled off like the freaking walls are like peeling like it was doing whatever but um, this is like my bathroom area. This is where I have my pictures hanging up um, in the previous clip where I was taking the pictures down. I'm going to just throw some comment in that sink because it's giving grata. Um, but it was a, little, a lot of closet, um, sorry, cabinet space. Uh, I put all my hair stuff down here, my hair dyeing tools and stuff. I put that down there. Um, I had plenty of space on my shampoos and conditioners and stuff. Um one thing about this apartment also is that it wasn't a lot of storage space yes let's get the comment to get that toothpaste out of the sink because that's ghetto but um it wasn't a lot of storage space like one thing i really wish i had was a storage closet this is my bathroom so my bathroom was separated from like the other area if you guys can see it's my toilet and my tub now another thing i didn't like about this bathroom was that the freaking shower head now the shower head was nice and the backsplash was also really nice i like the backsplash and um i got to clean the shower don't don't do me don't do me i like started to clean it i put the supplies in there and sprayed the walls and stuff and i forgot and started doing something else so that's why it's like dried up on the wall like that but um i do like the shower head but the shower head doesn't move so it was like really hard when i wanted to clean my tub out you know you can't take the shower head and kind of like clean it around i had to like get a bucket or something and like throw water in there it was kind of annoying but um yeah so this is my kitchen this is where my microwave was it was built in to the um cabinets we have the granite countertops the five um five lit stove whatever five eye stove or whatever um so i i did like my kitchen my kitchen was pretty cool oh my gosh i'm on my way Grata. um but i had a really deep sink again i'm in the midst of cleaning so don't come for me <laughs> um i had a really deep sink the stainless steel um uh fridge and everything again the same thing that i did with the tub i did with the fridge i sprayed it with the solution and forgot to wipe it so that's why it's streaky looking right now but um yeah guys it, this was how it looks the cabinets look the same as they do in the bathroom i had a lot a lot of cabinet space in the kitchen as well had a dishwasher really deep sink again that's what i really liked was the deep sink um we have our little high bar area and a bar lights and then this again is the living room all emptied out all cleaned out and um yeah one thing that i really it did kind of bother me also about this apartment was that the living room was slanted so it was kind of like hard making the um sofa look straight because like the back wall was slanted but i made it work so yeah this is what it looked like and this is where my washer and dryer was and i had a little area by the door where i had um like my mirror and my laundry basket and stuff it was just kind of like a little place you can go pick up your keys real quick check your outfit before you go and yeah
So this is the closet, what it looks like all empty. Now I'm just going to show you guys a before and an after clip. But it's just so crazy how you can really transform a space and make it your own. So guys, this is going to be the ending of this video. Um, Of course, I couldn't uh, record as much as I wanted to because I was packing. Duh. <laughs> but um, I hope y'all really enjoyed this. Um, Excited about the next chapter in my life. And I promise when I get into my new apartment, I am going to show my empty apartment tour in a furnished apartment tour so guys stay um stay look on a lookout for that because it will be up soon and don't forget guys to always stay luxurious